Uh, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, I'm going to do an unboxing of Band of Brothers Battle Pack 1 from Worthington Publishing. This is the new deluxe edition. The first version of this came out, I believe, with the remastered editions a few years ago. Uh, and this is a, uh, a battle pack for Ghost Panzer, Screaming Eagles, well, Screaming Eagles, Ghost Panzer, and Texas Arrows. Um, um, but includes all new scenarios and counters, I believe. So let's go ahead and dig in and see what you get inside. All right, so let me make sure I was clear on this. Um, to use this, you do need to own all three, um, the two previous games and the expansion Texas Arrows to be able to use this, because this is gonna requ require some of those counters that are in that game, as well as some of the new content that's in here. This is an expansion for the series, not just an expansion for one of the previous games. So just keep that in mind. All right. Here we go. So on top we have two dice, a black die and a red, and a black die and a white die. Who wins here? White wins seven to two. All right. So here we have start out with our scenario book. This is Battle Pack Number One Scenarios, version two point two. And well, what do we got here? Well, let's see what we got here. We got two booklets. So let's start with this one that says it's the scenarios but it is desire notes it's on glossy cardstock it's only about eight pages is that many and actually it does have scenarios in it okay this is kind of interesting here so we have desire notes and then we've got scenario 45 46 and like all the scenarios in this uh, series they give you the you know you've got the turn track and then you've got the uh, order of battle, the map you're using. In this case, it's just it's just the one big map. So this this is going to have a big mounted map in the box, and all of these scenarios are going to use that. So this is one, two, three, four scenarios. They use the big the big map. And then you get your terrain chart on the back. This is the same terrain chart, or should be the same terrain chart that's going to be on these uh, reference cards, which you'll have multiple copies of these in the in the base games too. So, all right, so now we've got scenarios E1 through E14, a 14-page scenario book. It's got new scenarios as well, and this one tells you what it requires. So this only requires Screaming Eagles. You're going to use map one and eight. From Screaming Eagles. So this one does tell you um, uh, which game you need to play. So I guess you can play some of these. You, this may be worth it if you only own one. As we go through it, we'll just kind of note. So this one, the is, E1 is, is Screaming Eagles. E2, Screaming Eagles. Screaming Eagles. Screaming Eagles and Ghost Panzer. This requires all three. Uh, six requires Screaming Eagles and Ghost Panzer. And this is a two-page scenario here. E7 requires all three. E8 requires all three. So you can get away a little bit if you have just Screaming Eagles, but for the most part, you really need all three to play these. Ooh, Oklahoma Wildcat. Go Oklahoma. So you're going to get 14 scenarios. I guess this is probably about a 16-page book then, because we have one that spanned two pages. And then you're gonna get the player reference cards, version 2.2. Again, you'll probably already have many copies of these in the other versions of the game, but you'll have these that can go in here as well, which has your charts, uh, not charts as much as uh, procedural, you know, bullet points for, for various act activities. And then you got your terrain guide, which was on the back of that other book, but you also have your terrain guide here. Get two of those on coded cardstock. And then we've got some counters here. It looks like we got four sheets of counters. Of unit counters, let's say. We'll go through those. These are these are nice because they are just like the rest in the deluxe series. These are pre-rounded counters. You just punch them, they easily come out. 
pretty thick, pretty rounded. No need to use an organ lamination. It's 2.5 millimeter deluxe corner rounder. So you got some German units here. These look like mostly infantry and weapons teams. And we got some more German and Russian units here. Some vehicles on both sides. And we got another sheet three of some more Russian counters. And then we've got fortified bunkers. Pillboxes on the other side. Careful, moving these around, it's gonna fall out. And then essentially what amounts to another half sheet of counters, even though you get all these extra white counters that you can do whatever you want with. And they have some American counters, some artillery fire, and then a few more German, uh, looks like weapons teams, bazooka teams. And then some more fortified dug in emplacements. All right, and then in here we have, do a little tippage here. We have our massive eight panel map and it's two sided. One is winter and one is spring. So it is, it is eight panels long. This is landscape. So there we go. So you got, you know, standard so it's eight panels so that would be what 34 34 by 22 you got a hill another big hill on the side with a road going through it and then we've got you know, some fields and forests and roads and if i'm remembering correctly it's the same same thing in winter well, let's take a look at that and I was incorrect, it is not the same terrain. You can see that the hills are not there. But we do have a snowy road, I like the nice snowy texture on here, and some harsh trees. And then a little town settling in for winter when war comes to town. So that is that map. All right, so if you pick up a copy of Battle Pack 1 for the Band of Brothers series, which is an expansion for the series, you'll need all three of the previous games, the two base games in their expansion, Screaming Eagles, Ghost Panzer, and Texas Arrows. You're gonna get that nice, lovely 34 by 22 mounted uh, double-sided game map. You're gonna get four, essentially, th effectively three and a half sheets of a unit markers. Two copies, more copies of the player aid card and terrain guide. A scenario book E1 through E14 that plays on the regular game system maps. And then you're gonna get the Battle Pack 1 scenarios, which use that large map, which has four scenarios in that. And two dice. Black one nine to five. And that is everything that comes in. Band of Brothers Battle Pack 1 from Worthington Publishing. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!